one petition, three stakeholders, namely the UPA government, the Naveen Patnaya government in Odisha and the private mining sector. The Supreme Court will hear a petition filed by the Goa Foundation seeking an analysis of the Shah Commission into the alleged mining in Odisha. Now, headlines today had reported on Saturday that the government was not willing to share the Shah Commission report with the Apex Court till such time it is tabled in Parliament. In its latest plea, the government said it would submit the report in the Supreme Court in a sealed envelope and that it not be shared with the centrally empowered committee of the court or the petitioners in the case. Now, a lot is at stake for the UPA. The damning report could already sully its image further for Naveen Patnaik, who is looking to be re-elected for the fourth time and for the private mining sector that could face an astounding fine if recoveries are made as per the recommendations of the Shah panel report. Jaskirat Singh Baba, our correspondent, now joining us on the phone line with more. Uh, Jaskirat, this petition uh, against uh, illegal mining, a crucial hearing in the Supreme Court today. If you can just give us the implications of this. Well, what today's main highlight that we expect in the Supreme Court today is government's application in response to Prashant Bhushan's petition suggesting that uh, uh, Prashant Bhushan filed a plea uh, against the ex uh, expiration of the Shah Commission, which is looking at the illegal mining across the country. And the government was asked to furnish the findings of the Shah Commission, which the petition said was shocking, quote-unquote. Uh, the government on Friday had filed an application which is expected to be taken up by the Forest Pension Supreme Court today, where they say, and they have effectively thrown the rule book at the government, suggesting that the uh, report will first have to be tabled in the parliament, which is likely to have a session in February before they take it further, uh, before they are actually presented to the Supreme Court. And even if they present it at the Supreme Court, uh, it will only be in a sealed envelope. Uh, the petitioners have challenged this, saying that they are basically trying to hide the fact that there are certain discrepancies brought up by the Shah Commission which have not been taken care of.